Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to head over to AWS and get started creating our EC2 instance. We then gonna SSH into this EC2 instance. Let's get to it. First thing first you should log into your Amazon AWS console. You can create a free account and their free tier is quite generous as well. You can start either typing EC2 or you can locate it from the menu EC2. Then what we're gonna do we're going to create a new instance. Simple as that instances launch instances I'm gonna name it like Laravel CICD tutorial okay all looks good okay. I want to create a keeper name mm, whatever um, okay for EC2 First thing first, we have downloaded this file and we need to load this file into Jenkins so Jenkins can use it as a key when trying to connect to this account. So let's do just that. Let's head over to Jenkins and then we're going to create a credentials just like we did before when we wanted to connect to GitHub. So dashboard manage Jenkins, uh, manage credentials. So what, what I want to do is I want to Cut out the, the key. SSH E4 EC2 pan, and then I'll take the content of this file, copy. Actually, don't need the lost character, so I'll copy it. Go back to Jenkins, and then I'm going to create a new set of credentials. It's going to be SSH username with private key. Username doesn't really matter here, as far as I know. AWS EC2. Then username, I'll have it in a minute. So this is the actual private key, and then create. There you go. So we have this. In the next step, we're going to add a step into our Jenkins file to check the SSH connection. First thing first, uh, we need to change the access level on that file. I've actually done this before, so just for the sake of demonstration, I'll do it again. 400, this file has been copied over to my SSH folder, and it's called key for ec2.pam. Without this, you're gonna get an error, like incorrect access level. Uh, you should protect this file a little bit more. What we want to do, we want to copy this example connection string, head back over to our terminal and change it to the appropriate location SSH. So now, if all is well, we have successfully connected through SSH to our EC2 instance. So what we want to, we want Jenkins to do the same for us. And then we can add the step to verify the SSH connection. If the SSH connection fails, for whatever reason, we do not want to continue the pipeline. It should fail straight away because we can't deploy it. At this point, we need to install a new plugin in Jenkins. It's called SSH Agent. Manage, uh, manage plugins here. And then available SSH Agent. There you go, that's the one. Download and install and then restart. So at this point, we can confirm that our SSH agent plugin has been installed. So we're ready to add the step to verify our SSH connection. This is what it looks like. Verify SSH connection to server. This IP address comes from here. So that's the public IP address of the running container. And if you go back, well, this is the command for it. And all we want is just a who am I command. So if the connection is successful, then we're gonna get a response. If not, obviously it's gonna fail and we're not going any any further. Okay? So let's test it out. Update Jenkins file. So as you can see, we're looking at the Docker phase. And there you go, here we are. So this is our actual SSH command. 
We want to know who we are, okay? So it says easy to user, which means it has succeeded. So during the build, we have successfully managed to SSH into our running EC2 instance on AWS. In the next video, we're going to create the step to generate an artifact for us, aka zipping up the project, and then we can actually copy this thing over to our server. See you in the next video.